Searching for stock images online can be extremely time consuming and drain your resources. Even after all that, you might not get exactly what you want. These tips will not only turn you into an editorial photographer, but will save you money, time and energy, which can be spent elsewhere. These are the basics that if used correctly, will cut down on having to edit your photos too. These tips allowed me to never have to learn Photoshop or use filters. You're welcome. Flood the room with light. If you're outdoors, make sure the sun is behind you. If indoors, use plain white walls as your light source and bounce light. To bounce light, place your object or person opposite the wall and outside the camera's field view. You can also stand people and objects right next to a window for natural light. I always use the viewfinder instead of the LCD screen as I feel I have more control. If I want to see what the photo will look like on a larger screen, I will then use the screen. Your settings should work for you and not against you. Always make sure you are using the highest quality and highest resolution as possible. Remember, you can't edit a bad photo to make it a good photo. One of the most important things to think about as a photographer is what is happening in your foreground, midground and background. This is called the rule of thirds. If your camera has a grid, use it to make it easier on you. By observing this rule of thirds, you shouldn't place your object in the center or split the photo with a horizon. Use lines in the photo to rule up and ensure straightness. Beware of negative space, that is space where nothing is happening. If it's irrelevant, leave it out. Also make sure that there's nothing eye catching on the sides of the photos that will detract you from the actual product or object that you're trying to sell. Take as many photos as possible. I can't stress this enough. If you have 15 minutes, use that whole time to take photos. The more the better. Sometimes you won't know what will work until the last second and it's much better than doing the shoot all over again, which will again drain your resources and cost you a lot more money. Use as many angles and distances as you can think of. Take horizontal and vertical photos. If you have props, try holding them in different positions. Try taking them low and high, so from low on the ground and then high up. Try tilting the camera a little. The more experimentation, the more interesting the photo will be and who wants to look at boring photos. I like using both real people and models. They both have their own benefits. Depending on the campaign or purpose for your photos, either will work. If you want to create an authentic photo, try real people. You can always book time with a model to do exactly what you want them to do at a later time. Now that you're living your best life as a photographer, share your work. If you liked my video, please subscribe. If you are in Australia, you can find out more at www.thelopsided.com. Thank you.